If you would like your data class to be constructorless or seem like it's constructorless, you will need to provide default values for each of those. So you could say first unknown here, and then what's gonna go to first unknown here, last unknown. And these are just values I'm typing in there. They could be anything. And age, we could just default to zero. And then of course it's getting kind of long, so let's go ahead and put these on uh, separate lines. So now we have our class kind of broken apart into separate lines. And then if I would like to create a P3 up here, I could very easily do it. So val P3 equals person. And I don't have to provide any values because they're all default. Now, again, I can't have another value in here, val such as foo, which is a string, it's not provided. We'll see, we get a, a bunch of errors here, even up here, because there's no value unless I default it to something. Uh, but at that point, these are all vowels. And then of course, if we, you know, print ln the P3, you know, delete these, you're going to see that we have the default values that are output. So first unknown, last known, known, and age zero. And that's how you can simulate having a parameterless constructor in a data class.